Tripoli is Lebanon's second largest city and sits far to the north, near the border with Syria. Though it looks far on a map, its distance is only 50 miles, or just over an hour away from the main city of Beirut, but it feels like a different world. Gone are the glassy skyscrapers and glamorous shopping of Beirut, but instead it feels like stepping back into an older era. Winding old alleys are flanked by hectic shopping streets, pierced with historic minarets and overshadowed by an 11th century castle dominating the hillside. Not too far is the town of Mina, a quaint fishing village on the Mediterranean Sea, where I encountered local fishermen and found remnants of the Orient Express, an old railway that once linked the small Middle Eastern nation. Tripoli was a wondrous journey through time periods and cultures, and here's how it went. Good morning, guys. I've just packed up everything from my hostel here in Beirut, and I'm going to try to figure out a way to get to Tripoli. And I heard that you just kind of catch a bus on the side of the highway, so I'm going to go try to figure that out and head up to northern Lebanon. this highway here and if I understand right they're just gonna stop for me somewhere along here Fortunately, there was someone on the bus that helped me negotiate that price because or else the driver probably would charge me like 200 pounds or something so anyways walking to my guest house now I'll check in and then explore this town checked into my city guest house and it's super central it's just like right in the middle of this old town with all these crazy streets so I'm very excited to explore Tripoli and just see what I find I know there's a citadel and then there's a lot of like souks and I think it'll have a much more Arabic kind of old town feel to it so let's go explore First thing I did is hike up to this castle here and I plan to go in later probably closer to sunset but I just want to come up here and see the city and there's just amazing views looking all around and there's this little valley that kind of cuts through the city so I'm climbing along this castle wall now to get some of these views so check it out. views up here are so cool and I just love this opposing hillside right here where all the houses are cowered on top of each other. It just feels so Middle Eastern and I just love that look like all these nice pastels and whites and beiges. It's just it's chaotic, it's crazy and I love it. I love Tripoli so far. This is awesome. 
but I'm actually gonna head back down into town to check out one of the cool souks because I heard that they might be closed on the weekend. So I wanna go check those out while I'm here for sure. And then I will try to come up to the castle either later tonight for sunset or I could come tomorrow because it'll be open through the weekend as well. So, all right, let's head back down the hill to the souks. back down the hill and I'm entering Atarin, which is one of the many old souks here in Tripoli. And a souk is just like an old market and it just has these windy streets and there's gonna be lots of shops and spice markets and food. So let's go into the chaos. getting in places like this is a good Arab coffee. So here's a little stand in the market. All right, it's just 5,000 pounds for this coffee. And the Arab coffee has like some nice cardamom and some nice spices to it. And so yeah, let's try it. It's super sweet <laughs> and strong, so. I like it, and I love those little street side stands. So, all right, let's keep exploring the market. Amidst the souk here, I found this one courtyard area and you can, there was like these secret stairs that these army guys told me to go up and so I can come up here and kind of look down the courtyard, which is kind of cool. I just found this other secret staircase in the in the courtyard that takes me up to the roof of this market so it's not too high but you're just up above the city a little bit and it's pretty cool the lighting is just so beautiful right now uh, looking out over the city so let me take some photos and video and uh, enjoy this view That was super cool and it's so peaceful up here on this rooftop. Uh, it's so quiet, you can just see the birds, you can hear a couple, a little bit of like city noise, but it's just so peaceful. And it's just so nice watching the birds fly around the minarets. And yeah, it's just a cool little spot in the middle of this crazy market. So anyways, gonna head back down the market. It seemed like a lot of shops were kind of closing down for the night, so it wasn't as busy as I expected it to be, but I'm gonna keep walking around a little bit more and see what else I find. I'm 
just outside of Atarin Souk is the Mansuri Great Mosque, and this is the entrance here, but it looks like it's closed, which is weird because it's a Friday. Anyways, there's this beautiful minaret, and I just love these like black and white archways to a lot of the doors here in Tripoli. So, anyways, gonna keep exploring. It's almost sunset. The sunset's really early here still, so I'm just gonna kind of walk around the old town and see what I find. So I just found this street falafel stand not too far from the mosque there and it's this massive sandwich and it costs like 20 cents. I love street falafel places, pretty stoked. This is massive too, it's a huge sandwich so let's give it a try. All right, this is really good by the way. Um, while I'm eating my sandwich I'm gonna head back up to the castle up there and watch the sunset from up there. So let's go. I've made it back up to the castle and I'm just gonna sit here and watch the sunset. The sunset is actually hidden behind some houses but I just love like the golden light here on some of the buildings so I'm just gonna enjoy up here and then tomorrow I'm gonna explore Tripoli some more. Hopefully I'll be able to come up here and see the inside of the castle and check out a little bit more of the city so see you tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's day two here in Tripoli and I decided to wake up pretty early, around six this morning. I just wanted to kind of walk around some quiet streets for a while. Then this morning, I'm gonna head to Mina, which is kind of the coastal area of Tripoli and check out that area. It's about a mile and a half or two miles walk. So I'll head there and check out the Mediterranean and I'll see what else I see along the way. So let's go for a morning walk. On my way to Mina, the reception from my hotel said that there's like an abandoned train station in this direction, so I'm gonna go check that out. I kind of went through the weeds there a little bit and I found the abandoned train station. So Lebanon used to have a rail system connecting a lot of the country before the war, but it's obviously all been demolished. And so here's just some remnants of one of the train stations that was here in Tripoli. So I'm gonna walk around a bit and explore. So it does seem pretty sketchy, but let's check it out. This place is pretty crazy. There's all these abandoned tankers and you can just climb up them and there's all these abandoned train stations. It's just, it's pretty wild. But from 
up on top of these tankers, you can kind of see the city. You can see some epic mountains off in the distance. So it's pretty crazy up here. interesting and strange place here, this train station graveyard. It is really crazy. I'm glad my hotel told me about it or else I never would have found this. It's, again, it's kind of like hidden in the bushes here. But it's just on the outskirts of the town of Mina. So now I'm going to head back to the road here and walk into Mina town and check that out for a little bit. So I've just made it to the little seaside town of Mina and again it's just about a mile and a half or two miles from Tripoli but it's right where you can hit the Mediterranean Sea and right here there's this huge port with tons of little fishing boats and there's a lot of fishermen getting their lines ready and cutting up some fish and everything so it's just this quaint quiet little place and there's also these seaside cafes these big boats over here so I might check out one of those boats and maybe get a drink, a coffee or something on one of these boats. So let's go check it out. Pretty cool place up here. You can sit on the second level of this boat and you're just looking out over the harbor. And there's actually just some like really massive mountains over the city of Tripoli over here. So it's a pretty place just to sit and have a coffee. After walking along the coast for a little bit, you kind of went past that harbor and then around the corner there. And now I've come into the town of Mina and you just have these kind of like winding old streets again. Just barely enough room for a car or a motorcycle. And it's just kind of this quiet little seaside town. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around and see what I find. Here in Mina, I found this little lunch spot here, and then a bunch of these young Lebanese guys, they joined me for lunch, and we had a good conversation, and it was fun, and now Bashir here is gonna give me a little scooter ride around town, so let's hit it.
Bye, man. Thanks for the cruise. No, See you around. You, nice to meet you, dude. All right, that was awesome. So, just got lunch with all these like young college kids and they gave me so much information about their country and about the history and the politics and the financial situation and then after lunch one of the guys asked me if I wanted to go on a scooter ride and then he just gave me like a whole tour of Tripoli and we went all over we got some falafel it was super fun and just a really cool authentic experience and just the nicest guys so anyways I'm back in Mina here just gonna explore a little bit more and then I need to head back to Tripoli to, to check out the castle this afternoon. So, all right, let's walk around. Just across from the marina here where all the fishing boats were earlier this morning there's this little fishing market uh, and there's just a lot of like raw fresh fish there anyways let's keep walking around Mina coastal village there and it was definitely a lot more lively this afternoon after lunch uh, that like, I found a lot more like fruit and fish markets and then just kind of these like winding old streets so pretty cool so I'm gonna head back to Tripoli now and I'm gonna try to hit the castle this afternoon that's been recommended to me so many times here for some good desserts is Halab and it's this awesome dessert shop in between Mina and Tripoli so I'm walking by right now and I'm gonna head in there and get some treats. Got a couple little pieces of baklava, some pistachio ice cream. It was really refreshing so now I'm gonna head back into the crazy old town and again, try to head up to the castle. So let's go. So I've climbed back up the hill here to the castle and this afternoon I'm hoping to go in and explore the castle a little bit further. So let's go check it out. just entered the castle and it only costs about a dollar 25 to enter which is pretty cool and so it's this massive stone fortress up on top of a hill and it's called the citadel of Raymond de Saint Gilles which was built in the 1100s as a fortress and it's kind of built right on the mouth of this river right between two mountains so it kind of protects and fortifies this whole Tripoli Mina area that I've been exploring. And then since the 1100s, it's been used and fortified and used as a barracks by many different armies and militaries throughout different eras here. And then even today, there's like Lebanese military and tanks situated right outside the fortress. So it still seems like it's like a military fortress up here. But 
Anyways, there's a lot you can kind of walk around and explore here, and there's just beautiful views of the whole city. And I'm gonna climb up even higher so we can get a better view looking down on the city. So let's just walk around and explore and check this place out. Right, you can climb up to the roof of the castle here and you can look out all these old turret holes but you can also there's a little like viewing platform over here where you can climb up and look above the wall and just get this beautiful view looking down the city so let's go check it out All right guys, that was the castle of Tripoli. That was amazing. Just really cool old stone building. There's a lot to explore here. But then just the views that you get from the top of the castle are just amazing looking back at the city, seeing all these like mosques and minarets and birds flying around. And again, hearing the city noise, but it just sounds distant and calm. And oh, yeah, it was just so beautiful. You can see the Mediterranean Sea off in the distance and just the golden light is amazing. So anyways, I'm going to head out of the castle and head back down to the old town. Good morning guys, so today I'm going to go on a little day trip from Tripoli to Bitaris, which is up in the mountains of Lebanon, so I'm going to wrap up my time here in Tripoli and got to see a lot. I'm sure, as always, there's a lot more I could see. There's so much more I could explore, like in the souk, and I'm bummed I didn't get to go in the Great Mosque. For some reason it was closed both days, but anyways, that's it for yeah, this trip to Tripoli. So I'm going to do a little day trip up to Bacaris. And so I'm going to do a little video on that. So we'll see you there.